Libra, hi. This is your energy peak for February 2020. Your second one, I mean. Energy check up, yeah. Energy check up, energy peak. Same shit to me, really, but... You know, let's just pop our head out there. Oh! In the recent past... Two of Cups. on for you Libra grab your five cards and then we'll go from there all right so what I'm getting from the cards here is that in your recent past you had a lot of mutual love and understanding with somebody this rejuvenated your life. You felt better about everything. And it was a mutual feeling. Your current energy right now has the lovers and the eight of cups. The lovers, you have a choice and decision to make towards love. Something that feels right. Something that you are getting a sense that it's the right thing. But you haven't made the decision yet. You're pondering it. Your major influence is your inability to let go of past emotions that you've built up over a long period of time. It might be that... Uh, there's still something from your past that you haven't really let go. You haven't moved on emotionally from something in your past. Your advice, though, is to continue living in full love with yourself and in the moment. Your stability, your vision of life should be like this Ten of Cups. Even if you're a single, right? You should ha vibrate at an energy where you're feeling fulfilled with life. Because from what I'm seeing from these cards is that you have a higher sense of your place in the world now because of this Two of Cups in the past. Whenever the Two of Cups comes up in our life, we're always, life is always feeling new, right? Because that's the thing about love. It, it makes everything feel new all the time. Um, and your outcome is the Ace of Pentacles upright. There could be a financial situation that's going to get better. Something new coming into your life that's going to grant you more stability. This could be, you know, some investment that paid off. This could be money coming out of the sky. This could be, you know, a new position. It could be anything that is showing a promise of prosperity, right? All right, now let's clarify all these and see a little more into these events and or cards. Two of Cups with the Emperor. You had a mutual love and understanding with someone very solid. He could have been an Aries or another fire sign. It's someone who, they have the power, they have the money, they have the status, they have the image, they have the control, they have the anger. But they have that under control too, right? The lovers, what, what kind of this choice this has to be? Okay, temperance in reverse. That has to be a choice to come towards more balance. Um, habits, more balanced thinking, more fair approaches to your decision making. Clarify the Eight of Cups, the Empress Reverse. This thing from the past that you haven't moved on from, it has you getting busy with a lot of things. Maybe you're putting yourself into so many other situations because you're trying to find something that's make, to make you feel better, but you're really just ending up unproductive and spreading yourself too thin. It seems like you're trying to like, since you're feeling a void from this two of cups that you lost, this emperor that walked away, it seems that you're possibly, you're trying to dabble in so many things and get busy, but you really are not emotionally maturing at all. So it's like you're spreading yourself too thin and you're actually ending up more confused, but you're really trying to build stability again. Your intentions are great. I'm seeing from here, it's like, you're in a good place. And Libra's always, Libra's heart is always in a good place. It's just that they're trying to change up to try to fix something, right? Ten of Cups, clarified with the Queen of Pentacles upright. You vibrating out of love, whether it's present in your life or not, in the form of a person, it's, when it, it's what's going to maintain your stability again. The Queen of Pentacles is someone very nurturing, giving, motherly, um, hardworking, you know? She worked for what she has and she takes good care of it. You know, someone like that, their, their fate is abundance. It's just a matter of time, right? It's a matter of when and your mindset.
Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. When is this money coming in for my Libra? The hangman upright. When you acknowledge the lesson after the pain. And the devil reverse. It seems like you have to give up some kind of addictions or obsessions. Things that you might be in denial that leave you more broken. This could be people. This could be drugs. This could be activities. This could be a certain environment you put yourself in. You know, the devil. But the five of pentacles there is making me see that Maybe you're having an abusive relationship. Something that takes your energy more than gives you. And sometimes it's you doing that to the other person too. You might have a toxic relationship in your life that you're not admitting how toxic it is. I'm getting the sense it's a person more than a thing. But if it's a thing and not a person, then it's something that's striking away at your money. That you haven't been giving up. It's something you know, oh, doesn't need your money, but... You're still giving your money to the situation. And that is also what's blocking your uh, abundance. Queen of Swords reverse and the world reverse. There could be some uh, decisions you have to make about your professional life that um, is keeping you stuck for some reason. Clarify that. Clarify the Queen of Swords reverse. Why is my Libra feeling a little doubtful in her success or for her success? The hermit in the middle. There may be some spiritual lacking in your life. It seems like there's a direction you know you might take, but you haven't taken it yet. But you're heading towards that. And Eight of Pentacles upright. You're just making sure you're taking care of the tangible things first. All right, great cards. Great cards. Now, let's see. What does my Libra have to know? Let's grab some advice from my Libra. What does my Libra have to know? Five of Wands reverse. Just keep your distance from too many parties of people. Seven of Cups upright. Consider all of your options, but don't be confused by them or misled. And the strengths. Try to take stock of how far you've come and use all of those things to your advantage. Don't be muddled by... Putting yourself in a box, right? When you see a strength card and a seven of cups, I'm thinking you need to be strong in your own self-esteem and then you'll be less confused about your options. Having options is one thing. You know, sevens represent confidence, you know? I'm starting to think, you know, seven of cups, this means you know you became something more. And now you're saying, hey, the world actually does have a lot of things to offer me, right? But you see, here's the thing. If you change your mind too much, that's a sign you're weak. Your intelligence is weak. Because changing your mind should not come easy. Making up your mind is like a sense of self. Like you know what you want, right? But changing your mind is bad. It's a sign that you don't even know why you wanted the first thing when you wanted it. You just kind of like, oh, I want this now. Oh, when your value gets more, oh, you could get more things. Oh, no, now I want this now. Now I want this now. So if I want to leave you with one thing, I'll leave you with this. Uh... The options come because you're unlocking your inner value. But that doesn't mean you have to take them, right? All right. Ciao, Libra.